Hello and welcome to Swift Tutorials. In today's video, we are going to learn about user location and map kit in Swift 4 using Xcode 9.2. This tutorial is requested by one of our subscribers. So let's start. Open up your Xcode and create a single view application template. I already created a project using single view application template and I named it user location and map kit. So Hope you are done with your single view application template for Xcode project and open up your main dot storyboard. Here we will create the UI part of for this tutorial and here from the object library drag type map and here you will see map kit view. We will drag it to our view and we will give it constraints 0 from the top, 0 from the leading, 0 trailing and 0 from the bottom and make sure all the constraints are with respect to view. So here change it zero, here this is zero, here it will be zero and here top will be view zero. So here we have added four constraints. Now it's time to create an IV outlet. So open up your view controller dot swift and here we will create a trait IV outlet week where map view of type mk map is not coming so for this we need to import a framework that is map kit framework and here we say now it will come mk map view and we will make it not optional and let's connect the IV outlet here here we have map view and we connect it to our map view object. So now here we have our map view. Now here we will say map view dot show user location is equals to true. So now let's run the app. Now at this moment we haven't detected the current user location and our map view will show only the static map. It doesn't change with respect to the location. So here our map gets loaded and it shows the static map. No location is here. So you can see here I am just zoom out and here you can see no user location is showing. So for this we will use core location. We will import a framework core location and here we have core location. Now here we need to create a location manager. We will say we are where location manager is equals to CL location manager and we will initialize it in the top. And here first we will run if CL location manager dot service location services enabled. So this detect whether is equals to true means the location services are enabled for this device let me make it a little bigger so here you can see and else we will print here you can you can choose to show alert to the user that please turn on location services or gps okay so now is true then here our next step if cl location manager dot uh, authorization status so it tells what the authorization status of cl location for our app is equals to equals to restricted or will tab cl location manager dot authorization status is equal to equal to dot denied here it is or one more here c l location manager dot authorization status is equals to equals to dot dot denied and one more not determined so here we have the, there, there are a lot of you can check here uh, let let me 
go here here you can see restricted denied non determined or authorized always is or authorized when in use so we can check so if uh, the user doesn't give any access so we can detect here and if this comes true we will say location manager dot request when in use authorization so this tells that whenever our app is in use the location manager will request it so for this we, one more thing we need to do here in the info p list we need to specify a privacy set policy and you can find it here that is privacy policy location when in use and here you can say app wants to access your location and here we get and here we say location request when in use authorization and here we will so now when this is done that is if it's requested so now we say location manager dot desired accuracy that is accuracy is equals to 1.0 we will set it it's uh, the accuracy so here if you see the here see location accuracy here we need to say double value should be passed okay this is user open location level in meters the lower the value in meters the more physical precise the location and active accuracy value indicate the invalid location okay so we will pass it 1.0 and here we will say location manager dot delegate equals to self so that the delegates that's notified us whenever it finds a new location and here we say location manager dot start updating location so it this by calling this methods we tell location manager to give us notifications whenever an application whenever user location changed so here it said that it's not implemented and we implement it cl location manager delegate and here we have different methods okay so here this is location manager delegate method did update location did determine so these are a lot of the methods so here we say so here it say invoke when new locations are available so here we copy this and we need one more method that is failed here it is did fail with error so we copy this method too and here we will go back to our view controller dot swift and here we will implement mark cl location manager delegates so here we implement and here we print or shows an alert to user that unable to access your current location and here we got the location so here we got the location and here for the map will create a reason so that we specify how my how much it zoomed or zoomed out so here we say let reason is equal to mk mk map reason or what it is uh, mk Let me check self dot map view dot reason is mk coordinate reason so we need to create this mk coordinate reason and here we need center and here we specify cl location coordinate 2 2d and here we have method latitude and longitude so here we have the location array and we will pass here latitude location the object zero dot latitude 
dot coordinate dot latitude and here we have locations object at index 0 dot coordinate dot longitude and here we will need to specify and the coordinate span and here we have latitude delta and longitude delta we will specify 0.2 so we zoomed in the shorter the value the more the map is zoomed in otherwise the larger the value it's zoomed out specify self dot map view dot reason is equals to reason so here if this is one way the other way is the other way is to call the method and here we say self normal view set reason and reason is the reason we specified above and animated will be true so now whenever new location is updated our map view will move to that reason animately and so let's now run the app one more thing you can specify here edit scheme and you can give the simulation of location using this under the option core location allow location simulation and here you can select San Francisco CAUS or whatever or you can specify your own files okay so here it is and now let's run the app so here our app runs and here it shows the pop that app want to access your location and when i allowed it it zooms to the current user location that is i set it to san francisco and here it is so now I uh, let's make it more zoomable 0 0.02 0 0.02 now let's run it again so here it is the location and here we can change it our location here this is the custom location it's picking up from here and here is if this a city run then it will now let's say it's changed its location to some other place and here now you can see it's already moving but this is city run so it's already moving up and you can see the change let me make it more zoomable 0 0.0002 so that you can get a clear look how it updates so this up is updated because this method did update location gets called every time whenever a new location of the user is found by the location manager and here you can see this is more zoomed and now here I will change the location from custom location to city one and here you can see it's changed now you can see the, the user current location is moving because I specified that current location is a city run here uh, list of latitude and longitude are passed to simulate the location in the simulator so this is the user location and map kit tutorial how to animate the user locations in map kit and learn about reason and span so that you can set the zoom of the map kit this is the ios map that is apple map not the google map we will cover google map in some different tutorials so if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and do share this video and please subscribe to our channel so that you can get future updates of our new video please have a great time and thanks for watching bye for now